Hey guys, it's Simon here from One Tech Stop, and in this video we will do a quick comparison between side-loaded Android apps and stock Windows Phone apps, uh, which have been downloaded from the Windows Phone App Store. A while ago, Microsoft has announced uh, the project Astoria, which makes it should it make it possible for developers who are publishing apps for Android and iOS to uh, simply import them to the Windows Phone ecosystem or Windows 10 mobile ecosystem, um, so that it's uh, easier for them and faster to import them, and this should bring more uh, apps to the Windows 10 ecosystem. Now I have uh, installed a few Android apps on my uh, Lumia 930 here which is running Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, you have to keep in mind that these are just simply imported uh, side loaded apps from the Google Play Store so they aren't modified in any way by a developer um, some apps still need uh, Google services, so they aren't working. And we are trying here these three apps, so Windows Central app, Facebook app and Twitter app, um, to see how fluent the experience is with these apps and what the potential is of such apps. Uh, of course, if a developer uh, wants to release an Android app uh, for Windows 10 Mobile, he can import them to Windows 10 Mobile with Project Astoria, but he has to slightly modify them so that they don't need Google services, that they are running fluently and stable. So we do, uh, we will do a comparison between apps from uh, from the Google Play Store, and here on the left side we do have. Uh, the normal apps which have been downloaded from the Windows Phone App Store. Now the left device, the device on the left side is running Windows Phone 8.1 but this shouldn't impact uh, the performance test of the apps since apps on Windows 10 Mobile are running very fluently already. So let's dive in. First of all we do have the Windows Central app um, what you can see and what you have seen here on the Windows Central app is an app logo on every startup of the app and afterwards it will load the app itself. Um, yeah, we have here the home screen of the app and as you can see it's, it does have another UI here on the Android app and it is a bit laggy here. Um, if you swipe down here it's very fluent and fast just the pictures are sometimes missing maybe because of the internet connection but here swiping isn't that fluently so um, there would definitely be needed some modifying uh, if the developer wants to directly import this app to Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, what we do have here um, in Android of course the burger menu and that's probably also why uh, Microsoft is now using this for some of their uh, of their apps so that um, the UI isn't uh, yeah that there isn't such a huge difference bef between the UI of Android and Windows 10 Mobile. So uh, if we swipe to the right side here on Windows 10 uh, Windows Phone, um, we get the menu here with a few settings and stuff. We do also have a search here and let's see where it is in the Android app. Mark all, maybe in the hamburger menu. Okay, can't find a search now here, but uh, we can have a look at the settings. And as you see, it's it is it does work, but it definitely would need some modification so that it's it is running more fluently, but apart from uh, stabi stability and thing and stuff, it's actually a cool app to use. Um, you can have a look at all the articles. Everything is working fine. 
Okay, you can also open the article in the browser, which brings the app to crashing, of course, because um, it is looking for the stock Android browser um, and the app is, hasn't been modified to run in Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, so, uh, viewing in browser isn't working, unfortunately, uh, but yeah, you can have a look at all the articles from Windows Central and you can even have a look at the comments. So that's not that bad experience for just side loading an app which is actually made for a totally different operating system. Um, now we will have a look at another app. Which, is, which I've sideloaded from the Google Play Store um, because it's used by a lot of people, of course, the Facebook app. Um, Microsoft has made a Facebook app an official app because Facebook didn't really care for Windows Phone. Uh, as you can see, the app on the sideloaded app is still loading, but now it's here and it's just fine. It's also lagging a bit. We compare um, the speed here and the fluency. You can see it's a bit more fluent on the Windows Phone app, of course. Uh, uh, apart from that, it's almost the same. If you swipe to the right, you can see the friend requests like here. Uh, additionally, in Android, you can see people you may know, but who cares for that. Um, notifications, of course. And what you do have here in Android is the message um, tab, which can direct you to the Facebook Messenger app. Now you can come directly here to the notifications. Uh, you do have kind of burger menu here as well. Um, it's loading up here in the Android app. In the Facebook app, it's just displayed. Um, we can swipe down. Uh, what you do have here is a Facebook chat as well, which you can turn on or off where you can see then all your people. And this is actually working, so you can use the Facebook chat or not if you don't want it. And it's um, here you can just tap the Facebook Messenger icon, which will direct you to the Facebook Messenger um, app. Yeah, we can have a quick look at the profile if it's loading up. As you can see, it's of course faster in the default Windows 10 mobile app, but it's still working in the Android app. And if you if there is a service which doesn't uh, um, support Windows Phone until today, it's at least a, an acceptable solution to sideload the Android app and in, yeah, in, uh, use this one instead of uh, no app. So uh, also the multitasking view is working fine. As you can see, the apps are displayed normally in the multitasking view and you can just swipe down to close them or use the button here. So that's, that's our... Okay, so let's that's the last app which I've, I might, I mean I have downloaded another app but we can, this is the last app which we can compare. Twitter, yeah. Um, again here, uh, browsing all the messages is of course more fluently on the Windows Phone app but it is possible to do it, to use it also on the Windows uh, on the side loaded Android app, so it is pretty cool that it is working at all. And uh, we can have a look at the notifications, it's just fine here. And yeah, maybe here to the messages, uh, we have to go back here and click on messages, and you can also see all your messages. You could answer to a message. So it's actually working fine. Um, even swipe keyboard is supported, so you can actually use it just like on uh, just like any other Windows Phone app.
can swipe here and here doesn't matter so this is pretty cool actually it doesn't do it does even for, uh, ask you yeah we can discard this app now this message okay um, if you listen closely to the Android app it does always make a sound if you click something even I've turned on turned off all sounds of the app and I haven't got notifications yet uh, f uh, from the Twitter from the siloed Twitter app so this might not be a solution um, for the missing notifications on the Windows Phone app so as you can see I've turned off the sound effects but it's still um, making this sound here if I tap anything and that's not just a Twitter app it's in a few Android apps which I've side loaded um, that they are doing such a sound but yeah I don't, um, apart from that you can do a search maybe so it's actually working pretty nice um, Keep in mind that this is just di directly installed um, app from the uh, Google Play Store uh, with with Project Astoria, which Microsoft uh, one is in has introduced and is currently working on. Developers will have to slightly modify their apps in order to let them run let them run more fluently on Windows 10 Mobile and that specific services like notifications, Cortana and stuff like that is supported. And also if you want to open something in an external browser or stuff like that or sharing, um, which is working here already, but in the, in the Windows Central app, for example, it wasn't working at all. Uh, we can do have a look at something else here. Of course, it is now also possible to install apps which aren't available for Windows at all. So, for example, the Popcorn Time here is a popular app to stream videos, um, which is working via uh, peers and seats like torrents. And the app is actually working just fine on the Windows 10 mobile device. Uh, as you can see, it's still lagging a bit um, but nothing to complain about um, can yeah it's pretty cool you do have all this Android menus as well here which uh, will be modified of course if the app um, gets published for Android uh, for Windows 10 mobile but yeah, this that, that was a quick comparison um, between the sideloaded Windows 10 mobile apps. And uh, drop me comments below if you have any questions about it or if you want to see any sideloaded apps. And you can have a look at our website where, where our instructions how you can sideload Android apps to your Windows 10 mobile device. Uh, yeah subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.